Okay, so we're live at Eldora right now. I'm uh, going to try and get Kenny Wallace out of that tractor right there. Come on, Kenny! Come on, Kenny! Okay, so Kenny gave us the one more lap signal. He's up in that tractor with Tony Stewart. And, uh, oh, it looks like they're going to they're gonna pull down here real quick. And, uh let Kenny out of the tractor so he can come and Facebook Live with us. And we're going to preview tonight's race. Uh, the truck series had two one-hour practices last night. Today, everything is going to uh, start up later this evening, 5 p.m. on Fox Sports 1. And uh, we're going to start with qualifying. Then we're going to have some heat races. And uh, then the main event a little bit later. And we can see uh, Kenny's going to come down. He's our dirt specialist. Hi, and Chris. Tony Stewart's going to come down, too. Tony, you want to come over and say hello? You know, Chris, you don't hey, say some of us got to work today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> some so, of us don't have so to worry you, about whether our makeup been, and our hair you've looks been good. Prepping the track. <laughs> this is what, last Wednesday? Yeah, well, I started last Wednesday because we had a big event, the Kings Royal, here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then immediately turned it around for the truck race. So, How tough is that wide open. to prep this type of racetrack with two big events? Um, it's been it's been a lot of work. We uh, we stopped last night at 5 a.m. Oh so my it's gosh. the earliest night that we've been done is 4:30. So um, every night there's been a lot because that's when you want to get all your work done at night when at night time the moisture comes up back up through the dirt so it, it soaks back up in the daytime it bakes the top and at night time it comes back up so um, you want to you want to work it when it's softer when it comes back up at night so we uh, get all of our I'm nocturnal now so now I want to sleep during the day and I'm up all night so uh, at some point I got to change that schedule <laughs> and, and it's hot out here it has been hot for a couple days how tough is that on the racetrack it's very hard on it it's um but that's why we got all this equipment behind us. I mean, it's we got plenty of tools to uh, do what we need to do with it, and we we worked on some stuff last night that we saw on the racetrack that we didn't like. So we uh, we worked till five and made some changes and adjustments to it, and still have a little bit to finish up on it, and uh, then we'll be ready to go. Okay. Well, we'll let you get back to work, and I'm going to take Kenny out, and we're going to talk dirt racing. I just want to say and something. get everybody ready for tonight. What do you want to say, Kenny? I, I just want to say this. And sometimes I guess I say things I shouldn't, but this man has put everything he's had into this racetrack. Earl Baltus had other people he could have sold this racetrack to, but he chose Tony because Tony has taken care of this place. Incredible safe fencing put up. And the reason he's been up till 5 every morning is because he cares about it. <laughs> and thank you, Tony. because I'm insane. I, don't, I love dirt I don't racing. Want, I don't want a life outside of racing, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but, well, yeah, well, you know. We're all and here comes our other hero right here. Oh, he kind of knows a little something okay, about this, this stuff too. This might be an epic Facebook live right now. <laughs> you, I'm gonna, I gotta go back to work. All right, see all right, you, boss. You get out there. He might have just woke right. up and. No, he's been up. He should be sober by now. Actually, we're supposed to go to the the whistle train or train whistle. We're going to lunch. All right, so you you guys are gonna go to lunch soon. Say hi to Chris Neville. I'm we so we we, we said hello yesterday. Yes. Ken Schrader now joining us here on Facebook Live. So you guys want to go to lunch soon? Can I steal him for 10 minutes? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. we want to preview we're, tonight. We're four minutes now. We're four <laughs> minutes now. Well, Tony took up six of years. He was awesome. 10. That was a good get by you, Chris. So, um, I know everybody's sending a lot of questions right now. Yep. And, uh, and I wish I could try and answer them, but the sunlight is so bright out here, I'm having a real tough time hitting the screen. Right. Seeing the screen. Right. So, uh, we're just going to kind of walk and talk. Yep. And, uh, and Kenny Wallace is going to be our dirt specialist tonight okay. at yeah. this truck race. Absolutely. Kenny, you know, one thing, walking through the garage yesterday, yep. I heard so many drivers say that this is their favorite racetrack, this is their favorite race. Right. Why? Well, it's like you and I talked yesterday. You know, we, we can't take this racetrack lightly because this is the most famous dirt track in the world, Chris. In other words, you know, you have the Knoxville Nationals. It's, it's, it's a great race, Knoxville, oh, Iowa, but it's one big race. And I think they're both together. We're, nobody slights anybody, but Eldora Speedway. See that logo right there? This race, undoubtedly, without wet, without question, holds the largest payout. You know, the the, the World 100 last year, $100,000 to win. The Kings Royal just happened on Saturday night. Donnie Schatz won 50000 to win. 
uh, this racetrack pays the most money consistently over. Now, there might be other tracks that go, hey, I pay 50 grand. I get that. But this track pays it like five, six times a year. So Eldora Speedway is the most famous racetrack. Uh, I say in the world, Schrader says, for sure in the United States. Cool. That's why they all want to do cool. good here. Very cool. So yesterday we had practice. Yep. It's a hot day. Yep. What are we going to see? What did you see yesterday in the racetrack that you think we're going to see tonight? Well, Eldora is so high banked that it's always been high lane dominant. So when the track gets slippery, you want momentum, like like a you know like a Ferris wheel. You know, yeah, you know it goes to the bottom, it swings to the top. So you're going to come flying down into turn three, and even if you want to try to make a pass and you want, if, let's say you want to try to get to the bottom, that's what I call a sucker lane. You, you dive to the bottom and you think, I got him, I got him. And then he comes flying off the high side and will pass you right back. So Eldora has always been legendary for Jack Hewitt. Riding high, not afraid to die. Can he do it? Jack Hewitt. And this is where that, that phrase started, so to speak. The higher you run, the more momentum you got coming off the corner. Now, tonight, Tony has six tractors, if you want to show those tractors. See the tractors right over, uh, right behind us? Yep. Six tractors to prep that racetrack. Yeah, and, and before the race tonight, Tony will come to the bottom, and he will put a, a couple lanes of moisture, which will make the truck fast. He'll do the same thing at the top. And, and believe me, last year's truck race, we had side-by-side -side racing for a good 30 laps. And uh, Tony is ready to go. You know, when we were riding around just now, he says, Herm, I got to make the track as hard as I can. You know, th these are NASCAR trucks. They're not dirt cars. So smoother and he he'll, he'll fix it. As you can see, I don't know if you can show this. He's still packing it. These are dimples. The track is still soft. So this is the sheep foot. You can see all these dimples. Okay, see the dimples? Look here. It's, the track is still going down a good inch and a half. So uh, that's what Tony's doing. Tony's trying to pack the track hard so it doesn't become bumpy. Very cool. Now, talking some of the racers in the field, I was talking to Christopher Bell. Yeah. I think he's one of the favorites tonight. Yeah, he is. He and, is. and he raced here last week. Yep. We were talking about some of his wins, and he was talking about the biggest wins in his career. He said the Chili Bowl, obviously, yep. last winter, biggest win in his career, and his second biggest was last Friday night at Kings Royal here. Yes. But when you look at some of those regulars, mm -hmm. who do you think we're going to watch tonight? And, well, and tonight, that's all going to start at 5 p.m. on Fox Sports 1. Right. Well, the first thing we got to remember is that the truck still matters. And we went through this with Ryan Priest when he ran second, you know, in the Xfinity race. And I said, you know, Ryan Priest proves that the car is everything. And some people said, oh, you're taking a shot at Ryan Priest. I'm going to repeat myself. You can be a good race car driver, but like Dale Sr. says, you still need a horse to ride. Okay. Let me remind everybody, Bubba Wallace won this race. Austin Dillon won this race. Even if you're Christopher Bell and you're Bobby Pierce and you are the greatest dirt racer in the United States, you still need a horse to ride tonight. Uh, I think there's drivers that we uh, should look out for, like Ty Dillon. You know, Ty's a dirt racer. A lot of people don't know yep. about that. Him and Austin started on dirt. Um, and he's another guy that told me yesterday this is his favorite place to come. Well, yeah, because... He said dirt is good for the soul. Right, right, because it, it's simple, and it's always a do-over. The reason dirt racers we like dirt racers... We have a going by right now. Mind you, that's a $200,000 piece of equipment. You know, quarter of a million, there's easily couple million dollars worth of equipment right here but uh yeah when you go through the lineup don't be surprised if, uh you know who pops up because when we ran the truck race last year uh you know we had jake griffin okay just give me your top three okay. truck series regulars okay to watch tonight matt crafton really matt crafton he's been running a lot of dirt he's smooth he likes to go to the bottom i would say um now, obviously, Christopher Bell was number one. I keep forgetting Christopher Bell is a truck regular because he races everything. Let's go with Christopher Bell, the favorite to win. Okay. Not because he's a good dirt racer. His truck is really good, too. That's a cow bush truck. Yep. So you take Christopher Bell, you put him on a good horse. He's the favorite to win tonight, no doubt. I would say Matt Kraft in a second. I like Johnny Sauter. Really? Yeah. He, he keeps his truck straight. He stays out of trouble. Okay. Not uh, Chase Briscoe. Well, no. I'm saying third is Johnny Sardo. Chase Briscoe, 
is a great sprint car racer, and he's a favorite. One thing I'm a little worried about Chase is, um, and I like him an awful lot. He's one of my favorites. He's wild right now. He's wild. He's a favorite to win. But remember, we got to go 40 laps, then 60 laps, eight, uh, uh, and then finish it off, you know, 150 laps. It's a 150 lap race, 75 miles, uh, 40 laps. We have a break. Let's see what driver can keep his, his head together. Uh, Chase Briscoe can win the race as long as he, you know, makes his move when he needs to make it. Okay. He was he was wild last night, and I will tell you what, I loved watching. Hey, he was he was up on the wall at one point in time. I Two was, wheels up on the I wall. I was wanting to say, hey Chase, you are fast. Park that thing. Okay. But he, you could tell he was so, having fun. So my arms started to get tired. So yep. we're get, we're gonna finish up here pretty quick. But um, uh, one one other question for you, and and this all starts tonight, 5 p.m. Fox Sports One yep. with qualifying, and uh, we've got some guys here. That that's their first time. Right. We've got some interesting guys here. Max yeah. Johnston, an yep. Australian guy. He's never raced in trucks. Right. He's never raced in the U.S. But he's a sprint car racer from Australia. Yep. Another guy I saw last night that really impressed me, Sheldon Creed. Holy moly! The a young kid. Truck. Yep. Yep. So a, a couple young guys yeah. that first time in practice in the truck series, they were fast. What would you tell them about racing here tonight for their first time? I would tell them that this is not a normal dirt track. Do not go into the corner and set it sideways because a truck doesn't like that and Eldora does not like that. Even with a super late model, it doesn't like to get sideways. The best advice I got when I won the pre 2005 Prelude to the Dream, and you know, the reason I name drop is because of this question you asked me. When I won the 2005 Prelude to the Dream, the local champion came up to me and he says, Kenny, don't toss it sideways on entry. Drive it in like you're running Atlanta, or, or you know, then then dirt track it from the middle out. Yeah. That would that would be my advice. I watched Sheldon Creed spin that damn thing out <laughs> ten times last night because he was trying to dirt track it on entry. Yeah. That would be my advice. But he was on the gas. Don't he was on the gas. don't dirt track it on the entry of the corner, and you'll be fine. Okay, so the garage is getting ready to open up. You need to go to lunch yep. with Ken Schrader. I'm I need to get in the garage and start talking to drivers and crew chiefs. And we are on Fox Sports 1 at what time? 5 o'clock, then we go to Fox Sports 2, and then we end up on the Fox Business Channel. Correct. And, and if you get those cable packages where you get Fox Sports 1, uh, if you want, you can always watch it on your phone, your iPad, uh, your tablets. And all you have to do is go to the Fox Sports Go app, and, uh, and you have that access there, too. So wherever you are, you can watch this race tonight. It's an awesome race. It's the best. It's the best race. Hopefully it's going to cool off a little bit because I'm already sweating. Well, stay safe. There is really severe heat warnings throughout the Midwest. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. I think it's only going to be 100 degrees here. In St. Louis, in real temperature, 113 today. Everybody be safe. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Everybody have fun, and we will see you a little bit later on uh, Fox Sports 1. Check you later tonight. Thank you. Dude, you're sweating your balls off. I know.